Hello and welcome. The Lumencraft map we're trying out today is Hold the Line. Alpha team message. Reactor built. Tunnel excavation. Discovered. New hostile species. Must abandon outpost. No survivors. Mission. Reestablish outpost. Fend off attacks until they stop. Simple enough. Get a gun, I get ammo, I get a health pack. Let's go ahead and save. I got 20 minutes before a wave shows up. Okay. Same thing we already read. Got it. We got... Looks like good amount of metal down there. What's this? Spooky path. Okay. Oh, look at that. They're nice enough to give us three lives. That's... Awful generous of them. Another path. Okay, well, in that case, let's do some exploring before we do anything else. We got a hundred shots, so we can kind of afford to do so. Well, of course. <laughs> if I can hit the target, that is. Okay. What's over here? So far, I like the design of the map. They did a good job of making the environment feel natural. It doesn't just feel like metals over here. Lumens over here, that kind of thing. So this is where the wave is going to spawn. At least that is one wave spawn location. Okay, bullet dodged. Step on the trap. All right. I'm thinking that the spawn locations... Oh, damn it, I saw that. Right, already hit shift. Let's check this way. Check this out, I know a magic trick. I'll make that... That trap disappear. <laughs> Maybe not. There's like a sliver of the super metal right there. What if I keep going this way? We need metal anyways. We'll need to upgrade our drills sooner or later. No! It was a trap all along. A trap within a trap. Okay, we're just gonna go this way. It did not spawn on us. Oh, there it is. That, that thing got out. Okay, he did not start us with a drill upgrade or anything. Whatever. Let's pop it. We just won't re-anger the hole. We'll just move on. No more should spawn at us. And who knows, we might not even come back this way for a long time. Well, there we go. This leads back to the base. 
No, it's like intertwined tunnels. Let's see. But we're closer to the base over here. This leads up here. All right, let's just map out all of the tunnels before we get to base building. I think that's reasonable enough. <laughs> Moving on. Um, all right, moving on. Gonna ignore whatever is gonna come out of there. Oh god, this is a dead end. Okay, well, we're gonna go this way. I think we've done it. For the most part. We didn't connect this tunnel down here. We can do that right now. Okay. Well then, we need resources. Let's go ahead and save. We're just gonna start digging right here. I'm going to carve out this space a little, but I don't wanna go too far. They don't want to give the enemy AI any reason to pick an alternate path. Right now, we know exactly where they're going to come from. So it makes things a little simpler for us. So I'm going to take the metal that's right here, and then we're going to go out to grab more. We'll just pick a location somewhere. Let's see, I think I need 150. What I'm doing is, first things first, we need to upgrade our drill. That is priority numero uno. Barely, barely enough to get 150 here. All right. Drill goes down. Doesn't really matter where I put it. Because we're just going to get rid of it as soon as we're done upgrading anyways. Okay, from there, let's pick a spot. Right here is fine enough. And get some lumen here as well. Well, that's a trap. Almost, almost walked on top of it. We should probably at least get a hundred lumen in case we have to use it for the base defense and in case we need to activate the blast. Because who knows how bad this wave is gonna be.
All right, we need a hundred for the next drill upgrade. You can go ahead and grab that. Collect some lumen on our way back. Good old auto save. There, 100. We don't gotta worry about that no more. At least I'm pretty sure. 100, I think it's 100, then 150, then 200. Yeah. And then 400 for the final one. The 400 one is not very necessary. We probably are not gonna take that one. That's only if you need to get through some super metal. Oh, I completely forgot about that already. I was distracted because I was actually looking at the super metal behind it. And wondering if we were going to actually need it for that. But I doubt there's anything secret lying over there. This doesn't seem like the kind of map for that kind of thing. Well, out of ammo, fantastic. Eight minutes, plenty of time. We actually need to build two defensive sections. Because I'm sure that it's just set up to be random. Which one they spawn out of. Out of all of them. So with that in mind... We have to do both. All right, 200. But also, from what we've seen, because the spawners are all over the place, Like usual, the AI might have some trouble making their way to us. So that could potentially be in our favor. Me carving all this out, maybe not. It's just going to make it easier for them to get to us, but whatever. They're supposed to get to us, so... <laughs> I really don't need Lumen. This OCD going over there. Should really be only focusing on metal. Okay, looks like that hole is gone, so that is good.
Okay, we're past 200. I just want to clear up this a little bit here, and then we're going to go back and get that upgrade. And then we will start our final preparations. Definitely need ammo. Well, that's bad news. I saw something new in there. bug almost caused that turret not to spawn running back and forth over the spawn point what a terrible bug okay we need more We've got enough for a gate, another turret, but we need more than that. We need at least one turret on the other side and a gate. And maybe something that I can make ammo at as well. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep gathering resources until well we hit inventory full so that I was gonna say till we hit the two minute mark but inventory full is another good enough reason to move on back Good enough. We'll worry about it being better looking than that later. This is bedrock, so it's a convenient end point. So we can just kind of do this. Yeah, what I noticed is bomb turret. Those were called the missile turrets in the map maker. But I suppose the devs must have finally added it to the to the full game. I kind of wish to be honest that they had put the the flame turrets in. I wonder if any of the stuff in the map maker, I wonder if they have included it. I wonder if they have included other stuff in the full game yet. I probably should have uh, just made some ammo there, but 
Here, we'll get ammo from this. Maybe dig up a little bit more of this. Oh, well, they made another change. This one I don't like as much. So for the for the ammo, how we used to just stand here and we were able to spam, can't do that anymore. You have to walk up, you have to hit space to create, and then you have to back up and go back or else it does not make the ammo. That is, uh, that's, <laughs> I don't like that change, but something made the devs do it. Either that, or they don't realize that it's changed now. Don't know. Regardless, it's gonna take more time building ammo, more precious time that you don't have in this game. Okay, that wasn't so bad. There's still 10 roaming around somewhere, but that's fine. That was a nice casual opening round for sure. Something see me? I don't see them. I'm just gonna ignore them till they attack me. Okay, next. We do need to make the essentials. One, I need to make a health station. Whoa. But also, we need to make a lab and a scout center as soon as possible. Inventory full. The time is now then. Scout center is very vital. We also need to make a utility one so I can repair this door. Oh, hey, this is new. One of 17. The game actually tells you now. I guess that is a quality of life improvement they decided to add. That's nice of them. That uh, makes me want to actually go back to... The one map. Blast from the past and see how many waves are actually in there and then we'll have like a a definite goal what is that what is that clover did they change the symbol for evasion as well <laughs> well they changed it one place and not the other that's curious on the placement screen, the symbol for evasion is different than when you actually place it down. Wow. There we go. Okay, well, we did that. Utility workshop. We'll just... Here, we'll make some room over here. I mean, theoretically, we do already have room, but I want more room over here. Because we're going to be putting more than just the utility thing down over here.
put that up in the corner. Okay. We'll worry about doing the repairs later. We don't need to do that immediately. I'm just curious where this leads. What was that? Nothing. Thought it was a clump, but it was not. Avoid that. Since our inventory is massive now, we're probably not going to max it out like we did before. No, no more follow me, but they might. Ah, uh, yes, the the problem of mining at the top of the map the bug where the you're not able to pick up the metal we'll just mine down here for now just a little lower than the top of the map looks like bedrock to me it is Oh, it's one of those. I wonder if they fixed the bug with these in the update. That would be nice. I don't exactly know how I would want to use those missile turrets. It's nice of them to include them, but those things are kind of... not as helpful as I wish they would be. Because, like the rocket launchers, they have a tendency to miss small enemies. And so they're really only going to hit unless they make contact with a wall or something, right? So they're more, they're more, much more likely if a giant is not around to blow up your other turrets or your other walls, unless they have changed it in the update. I really need to get back. I didn't realize that it was less than two minutes. But yeah, unless they have changed it, oh, good thing that thing didn't attack me. Unless they have changed it. I don't think I'm going to be building any of them. Because I don't want it to blow up my walls or other turrets. Reason I'm digging this out is simple. I want another wall.
Oh, yep. Gotta back up now. Even with those. Okay, well, we did not mean to do that. Put that there. Sniper turret in case a giant shows up. Look at them running over there. That side definitely is the far more heavily defended now, so let's just go ahead and put some stuff down here, too. Metal stacking. That's always good. Reactor range? I'll take it. Could potentially be helpful. We start building out this way. Adding extra defenses to slow them down. Turrets along the way, that kind of thing. Still 12 remaining somewhere. the skull over there. Maybe I should go hunt them down. Not a massive priority, but we can do it. stuck to the wall like some of the other ones are stuck in this corridor over here let's go ahead and open it up for them make it easier for the next wave
Okay, the others are in a very different location. Let's go find them. We'll drill as we're heading that way. Whoa, that ain't them. The health station. I forgot to build the health station. Hey there. <laughs> the damn, the damn local Laura stopped me. Does this lead anywhere? Oh, that's a trap. Right there. All right, we definitely need to expand the base's range using those range extenders we could do that as well i kind of already forgot where we whoa i kind of already forgot where we found that metal vein but that is a valid strategy as well just a more inconvenient one because if the enemies path into it at all they'll just destroy it and we will lose access to it we'll have to rebuild it Though it is much less resource consuming to do it that way. I wonder if it shows on the mini map. It probably does not. It would be nice if it did. Where the metal veins are located. After I find them. Okay, we have carved out quite a large area. He was north somewhere. What's our inventory looking like? Decent. That's right. Health station. Almost forgot again. Just put that right there. Reactor HP, that's a good one. Just in case. We'll add another one over here, too. Can't be too cautious. We'll worry about upgrading them once we have... All the surface area covered. Like, all the potential wall spots for them to defend, that kind of thing. Okay, we still have 50 seconds. That's enough to at least grab a little bit more. Whoa.
Okay, three of 17. Eight HP. 50 enemies this time. missing a lot of shots, but that's fine. Turrets are doing good. Turrets are doing better than I am. Back out to explore we go. Research complete. What I could potentially do is... I'm sure the base is fine. I could, could, I could potentially carve out the, the areas. Oh, here it is. Let's see. A test. How far are we? How, how many of these would I have to make? A lot. A lot of them. Alright, let's get to... Let's get to harvesting then. Maybe we can make an easier route to it. Okay, I just accidentally failed that. We definitely need this gone if we're gonna get this thing up and running. Okay, it's gone. Okay, so if I was to drill directly this way, I run into this. Maybe I can go a little bit this way. We'll clear this out. Getting this thing up and running sooner than later is definitely a perk that we want to take advantage of. It's free metal we're leaving behind if we don't. We'll just put the, the metal vein there, we'll put the extractor there, and then... And then we will put one of the storage containers right next to it. And then for the most part, we won't have to babysit it unless the waves decide to go after some of the power extenders on the way to it. I'm 
I'm just collecting resources. For the most part, we already have a pretty straight shot to it now. I could get rid of all this as well. Yeah, and that spawner is right there too. So it's kind of likely that they're gonna aggro on at least something. Some bit of the path to it. But maybe I could add some additional turrets out here. That could do some significant damage to the waves before they even get to the base. Have our path. One, I'm gonna do this. Because I want that other wall here. Ammo stacking. Okay. Let's see, with all those, see how far out it got us. Pretty far. Should I try and sneak it around or should we just do a straight path? Let's do a straight path for now. This is really going to be right next to the spawner. There's no way they don't break it. Oh god, and the wave's arriving soon too. You know what? Let's try something. Let's try something insane. That's sure to backfire, but whatever.
storage capacity. We're gonna need that real soon. they come. That's the real wave. Yes, of course they destroyed them. As expected. But we have more time to do it now. <laughs> Did this thing get any kills, I wonder? Once we get it up and running, then we'll see about potentially extending the range of the base over time until we can use it without these things. Because right now, if they destroy all of them again, it is kind of inconvenient. It is kind of a time drain worrying about those. Or rebuilding them. Unless I do like a roundabout path that's out of their way. See. Hey, that one's done. Or Ooh, maybe we can make this one reach over. I think we potentially can.
Almost there. But yes, maybe as I'm building, maybe I should build extenders in various locations as I'm going is a fail-safe. We can do that as well. They don't cost that much after all. But I don't want to spend more on them than I would have spent on just extending the base's range. But extending the base's range does get more and more expensive until it's like un an unreasonable amount to do so. go then this will go there then it'll get its own turret we're gonna keep drilling because a lot of those are gonna get destroyed in two minutes But now that at least that thing is made... It's at least up and running. So... In the following round... We can perhaps make an alternate path that's less dangerous... Or less vulnerable. We're gonna go... Yeah, till there's a minute 30 left. That's enough time to get back and do some upgrades. Hopefully the enemy doesn't attack from this door. The door that we're really much less prepared to defend. With a double gate, they might just decide to. There's like little stars on them now. 
I don't know if they used to do that. I sure didn't notice it if they used to have that visual indicator that they were upgraded. Yep, the big boys were off destroying my... My power extenders, how rude. Three fifty. Okay, we have actually less time now. All right, let's do it this way. Should be out of the way enough. Start moving it this way. Already, we're running out of time. So that's fine. We will make do. This time, we're gonna try to stay till the very last second over here. Try and get these as far over as possible. It must have... One of those must have got destroyed before the storage unit was built.
Almost there. In fact, we're going to save now. I don't know if I closed the gate. I think I did. But if I indeed did, yes, I did. We're going to see if the base holds up on its own then, this time around. Hope that the enemy does not aggro towards me. That would not be ideal. Hey, that should cover that one, and it should be enough. Five of seventeen. Fifty one enemies. 66. Okay, I'm watching. Numbers are going down well. 38 left. 33, 29. Okay, I think the base succeeded. The wave seems to be defeated now. I wonder why they're not coming from any of the other base spawners. Or from any of the other wave spawners. It had to have been a... either deliberate choice or some kind of choice from the... From the mod author. Or map author, rather. We got plenty of inventory space. a good autosave. I wonder if they updated that as well, because that autosave was painless. It didn't, like, freeze me in place or anything. Regardless, we are making our way through this. At this rate, I think we definitely should be able to complete it. Unless the last wave is just insane, but... So far, it seems like the... The map author is nice. He has not been brutal with what he puts in front of us. Considering the waves are coming from that specific spot, I am thinking about making a second line of defense. More walls for the second gate, turrets behind it. Can only help.
Okay, we're almost full on inventory. Gonna get what's left here. Then let's head back and see what we can do. Something still over here, stuck on the wall? Yep. Okay, and we'll add basic turrets. These ones are much more in the danger zone, so I don't think I'm gonna upgrade them. They're more likely to be destroyed. Let's see what else I should grab over here. Distraction turrets. Oh, God. Game lagged for a second, but it seems to be okay. They destroyed something. Don't know what. I need more repair stuff. Okay, this still has power. They must have destroyed the stuff over here. Yeah, the straggler ones this way they got. Did they go? Nope. They left that area alone. Good.
We still need a better weapon. The RNG on it showing up. I mean, I could shuffle the options, but I'm just gonna take whatever it gives me for the options so we have zero wasted lumen at the, um, at the lab, but... But yes, the RNG has not saw fit to give me a better weapon than the pistol yet. They added the... They added that missile turret. I wonder if they went through the trouble of adding the flamethrower to the... to the research options yet. At the lab. That would be nice. Three minutes. I've only got ten waves left. We should have no problem taking them out. At this rate, maybe I can even set up a third layer of defense over there. They're gonna snipe anything that comes through. More sniper turrets back here. Some might not have a shot, but it's fine. It's fine. It's just redundancy assurance. Making sure no matter what, whatever shows up is not going to get through. The foam is good. I'm definitely going to use the foam as soon as that comes up. Okay, one more save. I'm gonna keep an eye on the enemy counter to see how much the turrets actually, the, the outside turrets actually help. The so 46. 
Well, okay, so they've taken him out about five now. About ten. Yeah, those turrets are working. I didn't like how they were going to that corner. Hey, okay, well. Turrets out here certainly work. Took up plenty, so they get to come back. Okay, right now we have a ton of lumen. Way more lumen than we can spend. You know, I've got a ridiculous idea that I definitely want to try. I'm going to give the missile turrets another chance. I still think it's going to backfire instantly, but I want to see. Did we find another one? I think we did. Yep. Fantastic. We just got to clear this out, and then we got more free metal. Get away from me, things that hide underground. Is that it? No more? Okay, we gotta clear a good path, but for the most part, the path is already clear. We just need space for the, for the storage bin.
That thing got over here fast. Gonna scatter these around. Might seem ridiculous, but it's gonna work. So the AI in this game, it determines the pathing based on how much obstruction there is between you and your base. So like right now, this is not so obstructed for it to find a different way. Because we only have like two walls between it and the, and the reactor. So I can put a bunch of turrets out there. And if there's no walls surrounding, like if there's nothing more than that, it's not like there's more barricades on their way to our base. It doesn't understand the difference. And it'll still walk through that turret field and have to deal with everything that's over there. Let's see, are they even going to make it to us? I could probably go out there and help the turrets too. Draw the aggro away from them. Now we know where they're coming from. They're coming down from there. No wonder they only hit these turrets, and not the ones on that side. But yeah, they aren't set to stop and path to every turret that is on their way. It's only if things are like directly in their path and they aggro towards it. So like the turrets that aren't directly in their path will just get free shots off on them. At this point, we have set up such a uh, significant defense that I don't think any of these remaining waves are going to be able to do anything to us. Like we're just gonna we're just gonna wash over them and wipe them out easily. still doing the construction of all those turrets. That's why it hasn't come over here yet. In that case, let's go back to the base. See if we can get another research thing up and running.
We really don't even need that, but whatever. We're just gonna clear all of the research out because we can. As soon as that last power extender gets built, I'm gonna go tell it to build more turrets. Make some room. That's right, those things cost a lot. <laughs> we'll see if they do anything. You know what? Let's do this. I've got an idea that might do nothing. Might not work at all. Did that door automatically close behind me? If so, that's definitely new. Nope, it did not. The input was just delayed a bit. Yes, foam! We're gonna insulate this turret a little. There, now it's nice and cozy. Hopefully it doesn't like shoot and hit its own foam and destroy itself. That might happen. This is just extra defense for the turrets. Now the bugs have to chomp through the foam to get to the turret. Shotgun, finally. Let's go out and see how it's going. Look at that. They finally decided to go somewhere else. I wonder if it was the machine or the, uh, the rocket turrets that made them change their mind. Sounds like the rocket turrets are firing at something, though. This way, we're gonna dissuade them from coming this way. Using the tactic I was saying. Which is if I just build a bunch of walls... 
They should choose not to come this way. Either the bugs got them or they destroyed themselves. Regardless, I don't think I'm going to waste resources on them again. Come on, get out of there. Oh no, what have I done? I should have just left you lost down here. Just let you never find your way to the base. Come on, buddy. You gotta come with me. Can't let you wander around these halls. Come on. I'm right here. Good job. Come on. Now is the time. Great job, turrets. Proud of you. Did exactly what you're set up to do. even more far-reaching. Let's go ahead. That one's cheap. Oh, I don't have enough. Let's just go and find some metal to grab. Our time left. make the shotgun. That's what we were doing. I think I should have enough resources to do that now. the battle music kicks in even if you accidentally close a door on yourself it's like you it's like you jammed your uh, your toe or something and the battle music kicks in
gonna foam up our good turrets. All the ones with a bunch of upgrades gonna get an extra layer of foam defense. Actually, let's foam up for, for no good reason, because the enemies will never get here. We're gonna foam up the reactor. Can I still activate these? I can. Okay. Still have- I gotta get rid of this foam! There. That's all I really was trying to do, was get rid of it. If I had enough inventory space for the shotgun. Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck! Alright, let's get out there. Can I save? I can. The bad ones. They finally started summoning the bad ones on us. Okay, let's go grab some health then. Maxed out hit points as well. Reactor zaps. All right, let's go replace some of those turrets. Certainly, that was still better than them getting to the base. Since they're throwing the stronger stuff on us now, I'm definitely gonna put more sniper turrets.
Whoops. Will it even finish all these in time? Probably not. But whatever. We'll try to stand out there and fight with the wave again, but things are getting a little bit more intense, so... So it might not work out. You might have to retreat to the base quickly. Just a little over a minute left. Just grab what we can. Enemy wave arrives soon. Yes, yes, yes. Fifteen seconds. Where is it going to come from? Oh god. Oh god, the lag. ones. Am I out of ammo? I forgot about ammo. Additional turret upgrades. All of our shining star turret backs here back here we could use that on. 
after, of course, we... Oh, what the... I think there's a giant going towards the other end. I would love to engage that giant, but... These horrible ones are roaming about. the resource magnet would be really nice. Okay, we really gotta get down there. Building destroyed, where's that? going down there. These things are the worst. another one heading in towards the south. You! Get over here! How do we want to get all the way up here? No, and it totally... Oh my god, this bastard! Get out of here! Get away from my infinite metal resource! Oh, it destroyed it! That's very inconvenient! You get out of here, too! I'm out of ammo. It's just gonna destroy that and have no problem about it. Man, it destroyed that one chain link and it got rid of both. Both metal vein extractors that way. Alright, we need lots of ammo. This new backup system is so much less convenient.
The multiple drones! Yes, that definitely is going to be a lifesaver in this situation. They might actually complete all the turrets. Not in time, but <laughs> they're going to complete them sooner than they would have. Alright, we're heading out there. Let's hunt down the last two. So we know they're not going to destroy any more of our stuff. Hey, that one's all the way over there. carve this hole? They might have. Or the giant did when it was walking around. That's probably what happened. Yep. There he is, too. Hey, bud. You lost? He fast. This way, bud. You can make it. Actually, maybe... Can you? Can you fit through the super metal? Apparently he can. Didn't even need the turrets. He didn't make it that far. Just gonna pick up the straggler stuff. You definitely need to head over here. Not just for all that, but to get this line back up and running. We're gonna need to check on both to make sure both are working. It sure looks like that's not gonna be the case. Yeah, one of those asshole spiders got over here too.
many turrets as we can possibly muster. They're good distractions for when we're out here fighting. Actually repair some of them. Some of them are veteran turrets that saw some action. And live to tell the tale. We need to do a little bit more research if we can. Oh god. The damn fast closing doors are actually not great. They close on me far too often. Okay, I mean, it looks like that area is still defended well enough. There, now we have one super sniper turret. Stamina is important as well. Maybe some speed, too. All right, one more save just to just to be cautious. Come. Oh god. Game froze up real bad there. One of the giants! Item turrets, there you go. Fantastic. Good job, we did it. That was minimal casualties that time, in terms of turret casualties. Let's go hunt down whoever the last two are. I had a feeling it was another giant. Come this way, so you don't fall on anything.
still managed to. You bastard. This way. This way. Oh, how dare you. How rude. I'm not gonna be using that clump. I'm not gonna buy a shredder. Just to uh, dispose of one clump. There we go. Need 50 more. More than 50, actually. We need to buy more power extenders as well. Let's see. Let's see how far we can go. This side we need to build the storage again as well extra resources we have to invest and that turret we put up for defense is gone because of course it is Yeah, at this rate, we'll never get enough resources to extend the base's range all the way out there, but we can try. Like, without these power extenders, I'm saying. We are almost to the last wave as well. So not much point in getting this back up and running, but... I'd feel better if we did. We upgraded some of them. The ones least likely to get destroyed. Oh, 
Oh, is this another one right here? It is. Well, that sure is tempting. Ten seconds left. One more save. This time... Do this one. Is there two giants somewhere? I feel like these waves have actually gotten easier since they have thrown giants at us and not more of the black spiders. Surely that's what's over here is a giant waiting to come after me. Nope. It's the lost black spider. we go all right because I don't think we lost any turrets that time around got some of that I think I'm gonna actually try to extend the base's range even farther We'll just go and grab as much resources as we can over here. I think it's something like, it's probably like 500 or 450 to extend it now. really could have used the pistol on them, but whatever. thought better of connecting those pathways down there, even though that was easy metal. Because I don't want to alter the pathing of the bugs at all. The way they're going right now is working just fine.
Just doing a map check, see how much we've actually excavated. Like half the map. <laughs> you know, should I do the... the ridiculous thing? Can I start rocket farming, even though there's only one... one wave left? Rocket farming is effective, if not also very wasteful. Oh, well, I didn't actually get it. For some reason, I thought we actually got the upgrade or the, uh, that ability already to make rockets or the rocket station, but nope. Never mind then. We'll just do this. Not gonna worry about that for now. Would be nice to get it up and running, but really no time. No need. It probably would be more cost efficient just to spend our money on more defenses. Or metal, rather. How far did our base extension get us? Like, right here, huh? Well, let's do... this. One of these. One of these. Another one down here. Another one right there. Another one there. And another. Yep, no way they're getting through all this. All right, we'll take our position. Right at this one. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing came out of that one this time. The ways really are getting easier. That was nothing. Oh, geez. Yep, closing a door on myself did more damage to me than the enemies that time around.
Sure, why not? Spending our money on whatever. <laughs> Look at those energy energy tendrils just flying out of our base in all directions. Okay, we've got 10 minutes for the last wave. I think that's more than enough time to get enough to extend the range of our base even farther and add even more turrets to this ridiculous defensive line we have established. Which I know, it probably would be more efficient in some way to make a multi-layered walled defensive base that you don't even have to... I mean, we definitely don't have to help out our system. It definitely has this on its own, but point being that this map is easy enough that I actually like that it's easy enough because it actually allows me to engage in the battles. I don't have to hide behind the walls or anything like that. got enough for one base extension let's see inventory wise we have a ton of room we won't even be able to fill up our inventory before the end of this but we can at least continue scavenging for now was the lumen upgrade that I needed? Not needed, but wanted that I never got. I've already forgotten. Alright, sub six minutes for the final wave. <laughs> Will the final wave kill us? Something tells me no. Maybe we, maybe I was wrong. Maybe we are going to actually fill up the inventory. I knew that was a trap, but it's fine. Okay, 
Okay. Is that it? Okay, I'm thinking at three minutes we'll go back and extend the range of our base as far as we can. And then we will use that range to build a bunch more turrets, however many we can build in that, in the extra space. Let's see, what can we do? Just two. Fine. How far does two get us? Quite a bit farther. To the point where it's like inside of this. Yep, I think this is the most insanely well-defended base we've ever made. This is just a wall of death. It was the resource magnet. That's what I wanted. That resource coming slow to me reminded me of it. Yep, minute left. Let's just go back. Maybe grab the ammo we didn't grab before, if there is any. was not, but that's fine. All right, the final wave.
Okay. Where is it? The final enemy. It's a worm. <laughs> we did it. We beat hold the line. All right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.